Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up Unity with all the required components like NDK, JDK and SDK, create a new project, make a simple button, connect a game object and a script, load an add move app, and finally build a project to make sure everything works with no errors. Let's get started. First, make sure you installed Unity Hub and Unity Editor. When installing Unity, make sure to check these options Android Build Support, OpenJDK, Android SDK, and NDK tools. If you already installed Unity but missed these, don't worry, just click Add Modules in Unity Hub and select them. This option may be missing if you installed Unity manually instead of through Unity Hub. If your installation with Unity Hub didn't go well and you're getting errors, you can go to the temp folder and manually replace the corrupted or missing files. Then Click on continue in Unity Hub to resume installing the Unity editor and components. Click on new project, choose 2D or 3D, name it add mode test. Click create and wait for Unity to open the project. Now, let's add a button. Right click in the hierarchy, UI, button. This will also create a canvas and event system. Let's rename the button to load add button. Now, create a game object. Right click in the hierarchy, create empty. Rename it to add manager. Now, let's Create a script. Right click in the project panel, create C sharp script. Name it add loader. Drag the add loader script into the add manager game object. Now, select the button, go to the unclick section in the inspector. Click the plus sign, drag the add manager the load into add the function object from the add loader script. Open the add loader script and add this simple function for now. Public void load add. Debug.log load add button clicked. Save the script and go back to Unity. Now, let's do a quick build test. Go to File, 
build setting select android click uh, switch platform then click build and choose a folder Open Unity, go to Preferences, External Tools, make sure the pass for JDK, SDK, and JDK, uh, NDK are all detected automatically. If you don't see any errors or red lines, you're good to go. If the build works and no errors appear, great, we're ready for add mode. For install Google AdMob SDK, go to the official AdMob Unity SDK page, then download the latest that Unity package and import it into your project. Go to Assets, Import Package custom package and select the file make sure all checkbox are selected click import Now, open the Add Loader script again and add the Add Mob code inside the Load Add function. You can use Test Ads from Add Mob's documentation. This script helps us show ads in a unit game using Google Add Mob. The ads can be banner ads, small and always visible interstitial ads, big between game levels, rewarded ads, you watch them to get a reward. In the add loader script, add these required namespaces. This line cell unity, I want to use Google AdMob and unity features in this script. Then add these variables. We have multiple function here. In the start method, we should initialize Google Mobile Ad SDK. Then write three line after this code. Create provide void request banner for request add banner from Google. You can add your add unit ID here for add banner. Then we create destroy add function in the load add function we want load add when we click on button load add we want to call this function then we have request interstitial method like banner function have this add unit id this kind of add then we have this method for loading this kind of ads then we want to show this interstitial ad like this and the final ads rewarded ads we create request rewarded method you should add your rewarded ad unit id from your google ad mob account then we have this method load rewarded ad 
and the final method show reward to that. This method show rewarded ad in the game. And final build. Do one final build just like before. If you followed everything correctly, there should be no errors. Your button should now be able to load test ads using ad mode. And that's it. You now learned how to set up Unity for Android at the button and the game object, write a script, integrate AdMove, and build your first ad enabled app. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Bye bye.